Well, folks, my car trailer ain't long enough. I've been working on this trailer a while. I put it aside for about six months because I was just I was just too busy. Some things happened in life, and I didn't have time to mess with it. But prior to that, I come in here, and it did just have these uh, angle iron about every 32 inches. And I come back, and I added these 2 by 3s And, uh, you know, now it's got a cross member about every 12 or 14 inches and I had added this dovetail to it the trailer it used to end right there now it's got this dovetail and this hitch I got this jack under it to hold it because I'm fixing to cut it in two I'm fixing to uh, I'm fixing to add 23 and a half inches to this trailer in front of the axles that's that's easier than moving the axles back and stretching the frame somewhere else and since i've made it two foot longer back here i've got to make it two foot longer up there to make up for that plus that flat deck on that trailer has always just been 16 anyway that ain't enough but here's my piece of metal this is a piece of three by five angle it's eight foot long i'm gonna cut me four 23 and a half inch pieces out of that and uh I'm going to cut this trailer in two right here. And I've got me a mark right here. And I've got me a mark right here. Them's exactly two feet apart. Well, I'm going to cut it in two right here. And I'm going to roll the back half back. I've got the front supported. I'm going to roll the back half back and I'll put a 23 and a half inch piece in there. And uh, get it all clamped up straight. And it'll have two wells. It'll be welded on each end of that of course and then i'll have to add another cross member maybe two i think just one but um anyway that's that's five inches right there and that's five inches the tongue comes back and actually it's part of the trailer frame so you know with 10 inches there's no way this thing's gonna break but that's that's gonna make me a lot longer trailer and make it a lot more useful i already cut this in two right here a while ago that's my center I'm probably not going to film all this because, to tell you the truth, I'm just too busy working and uh, trying to make progress. That's my winch mount right there. I'm just too busy working, trying to make progress to, uh, you know, take the time to film it all. But I'm going to film some of it and uh, I'll splice this together and edit it and, you know, I'll try to make a 10 minute YouTube video out of it, something like that. There's nothing wrong with cutting a trailer frame and splicing it, making it longer. I've seen it done a lot. But, main thing I want to show y'all is how I'm going to cut it. I'm not going to cut it with a torch. I'm not going to cut it with a plasma cutter. I'm going to cut it with a genuine 6 inch Metabo slicer on a Ryobi angle grinder. One of them that's got the swivel handle. I really like those. And, uh, anyway, I've got it marked right there. I run down it just barely to score it, but I hadn't cut any on either side. I'm going to go ahead and film how long it takes me to completely cut this trailer in two. I think y'all will be amazed. It's faster than a torch. And, uh, let's hope I don't get hurt here. I'm going to put all my gear on and. Get out there and get after it. <clears throat> I've been putting this off long enough.
That's one side cut completely in two. And even though it jumped around a little bit on me, I still hadn't damaged this disc. The way I buy these discs, I get them for about a dollar and sixty cents a piece, including tax. Now don't loo like I do. Don't run this without a guard. I need to fabric cobble me a guard together that'll actually cover this because the one on a four inch angle grinder won't. On a factory Matabo, of course it will. But, you know, a couple of my buddies and me as well, we've been using these for years this way, but we're ultra careful. That don't mean you can't get hurt though. We've never been hurt, but that don't mean we won't get hurt. We need to all have us some guards. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to TIG weld some guards together for us eventually where we can spin them around and protect ourselves there. But, but like I said, don't do that. I don't suggest it. You know, me, it don't matter so much to me because, see, just about seven months ago, my youngest son, he committed suicide, and that changed my life in such a big way. If a little thing like a disc got away from me and done some damage to me, that's not no big concern. I know that sounds horrible, but, you know, this is just busy work to keep my mind occupied and uh, do the best I can, and, you know, that's not saying I ain't going to be careful. I'm still careful. Oh. I'll have to change this here in a minute, but I'm going to cut a little bit, get a little bit of this side started with this one. Let me get my cardboard to move it. See if that's in the in the shot there. Yep, we're good.
folks. I've got a plasma cutter and a, and a torch. I got a big plasma cutter in there. I got one that'll cut each thick metal. Did you see there? I didn't even change that blade. I cut all that in two in the middle with this blade. And then I cut both sides in two with this blade. And if you figure them sides, that's two times five inches on each side. So that's uh, 10 inches plus three inches plus three inches. So let's see, that's, that's, uh, that's 10, 13, that's 16 inches per side. And plus about 24 inches across the middle. I cut all that, I cut this trailer half in two with a Metabo cutter. One disc. I cut it in two for a dollar and sixty cents basically and I still got I'll still use this cutter to cut up some of that piece of metal right there that piece of angle that I'm putting on there. I'm gonna take these I'm gonna take these channel iron off of here and see if I can push this trailer apart by hand, show you what that looks like. myself. Mm, that thing's heavier than I planned on. Hold it when I put it back together. I believe that's enough. Y'all get the point. That trailer's in two halves. I've had this trailer since it was new in about 91. I see, I had me some more discs stacked up here, but hadn't got into them yet. I'm going to cut this up. I may not film that, me cutting this up, but I'll, I'll do some filming when I get this when I get this splice back together here and I'm starting to tack weld it and stuff and I'll film some of my welding and then I'll show you what it looks like in the end right here when I get this when I get these two sides spliced together and this trailer's one piece again you know this just this ain't like it's frame material this ain't, this ain't no special steel 
this is just plain old structural steel it ain't nothing special but with a with a five inch weld here and a five inch weld there and then i'll put some gussets on it put some diamond plates on it and i'm also going to put a bunch of a bunch more stake pockets and i'm going to put a three eighths rub rail uh, maybe a quarter inch i don't know either a two and a half by a quarter or two and a half by three eighths rub rail around the whole trailer that's gonna that's gonna strengthen it a lot of course i'll i'll have to get me some more inch and a half angle iron and splice that back together on a piece of plate but uh i gotta roll this apart a little further i'm going to get me a bar and pry this thing apart about another foot anyway y'all come back and uh watch part two and part three of this thank you all for watching